In this video, I'm going to show you how to airbrush this basic barbed wire effect using only two colors. Let's get into the video right now. Okay, so I've got my aluminium composite panel. So I've given it a scuff with a gray scotch pad. And what I'm going to do now is using some Hexa spray mask vinyl. The place where I get this from, they actually call it stencil. And it's just a low tack vinyl and it's fairly transparent, which is handy. Peel that off and we're going to drop the center down first. And then using the applicator, I'm going to work from the center out, squeegee that down. And then I need to mask up these two strips along the top and the bottom. For that, I'm gonna use some application tape. It's essentially like a masking tape. A lot of sign writers use this to apply vinyl stickers. Don't have to use this. You can also just use some bits of A4 copy paper and masking tape, but this fits to the size. So I'm just gonna use it to make it a bit easier. I wanna expose my center section. So just grab my blade, cut a couple of slits. Gonna pull on that. It's not super neat, but I only need that center piece. And to make sure that I don't get any underspray, I'll run some tape along there as well as it added protection. Now this design, I'm obviously doing it on the LU panel, but you can have a go on whatever surface you wish to work on. If you are gonna do it on paper, I would recommend just cutting out a paper template. So print off a reference to scale. You can even use like masking tape and draw it out. You don't have to use this method. So to get my design on there, I'm gonna use some three mil fine line tape. And all products used in this video can be found in the description below. I'll pop some links in there. And I'm just going to sort of do an uneven line like so. And this is essentially going to become my wire like that. Wind it in. Now, before I go ahead and cut, I want to establish the actual barbs. So you can draw over the fine line tape. That's not an issue. But you want to do it on the crossovers and then have these barbs coming off. I'm just gonna go ahead and do four ovals on each. So I showed you with the first one. This one, I'll just do the tops of the ovals. Line them up. Now, the reason I marked these out is because if I was to just cut right along the wire like so, I'm gonna get a cut line in here. So now I know where they're gonna be. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out first and then I'll cut my wire. And just with the blade nice and careful, don't go too heavy. I'm gonna use a nice sharp blade. Top, repeat the same thing. And you can check to see how it's cutting and you can see that's cut off nicely. So if you cut too deep, obviously you're gonna cut into the base. And if you were to do this design over some other paint, if you were to cut through and damage or score that paint, then you could have lift off issues. So you want to be nice and careful with your blade. Okay, so now that they're all cut out, and this is the beauty of using the fine line tape. I'm just gonna cut a couple of bits like so, and I'm gonna run my blade, and just guide it along the edge of that tape, trying not to cut onto the tape. Again, same sort of pressure as before. And you'll notice that I'm stopping here, okay? You don't wanna come across because that would defeat the purpose of us doing this first. So make sure you stop where the barb actually begins. Cutting out these center pieces of the overlaps as well, because that's gonna become a positive mask. So everything with this masking tape will remain white. And if you kind of angle your brush on the edge of that tape, you should pretty much be able to glide along there nice and accurately without risking going on top of the fine line tape. And if you want to learn more about airbrushing, then we do have an online course available. 
Feel free to check that out at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. So that's all cut now. You can remove the masking. You can see that's already wanting to lift up. So just a really easy effect. Great one when you're first starting out to practice and super useful, always cool. You can integrate this into a lot of your designs. Create a nice 3D effect with having some barbed wire wrapping around images within the design or even it also makes a really great border. So just have a play around with it. Now removing this carefully, making sure that we only want to pull back certain areas. If you find that you're pulling on the masking material and it's not coming off easily, then stop. You don't want to start to tear it and then just get your blade again and recut. You can see that center section, I've gone a bit light, so I need to get the blade in there, push it down, and then it's starting to stick. And if you are enjoying this video so far, then by all means, share it out. Let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that's going to notify you every time I put out new content. So we've got our design. You can see it's already shaping up to look like a nice bit of barbed wire. So you can see here, I'm not as happy with this little bit. So I'm just going to come in and trim that off. Like so. That's the masking done. Now we're ready to do the fun part and start airbrushing. Okay, so to really give it a sense of depth, what I want to do first is establish some overlaps. So we're going to go back to our fine line tape. And the good thing is we've got a guide. We know that it fits to that guide because it's the tape that we originally used. And you're just going to follow what you've got and weave that in and out. Therefore, exposing one piece which weaves inside and out. I also want to protect the barb parts. And this is also going to establish the edge. And anywhere you can see a bit of a gap, so I can see a bit of a white gap there, I'm going to protect that as well while I've got the masking tape. I can see another one along here. So ready to spray it. Make sure it's all flowing well. So I'm using a transparent black. This is transparent base mixed with black. It's going to give it all a light dusting first. So just from a distance. And then I'm going to imagine that we've got that sitting over the top. So I'm do this. I'll do it darker like that. I'm going to run a bit of a drop shadow along the bottom edge. So you can kind of see I'm aiming half on the template, half off. Now this lower edge. Darken off in here. Now you can go as detailed as you want to go with this. I'm trying to keep it nice and simple so that beginners can follow along. But you could definitely add rust to the barbed wire as well by adding some browns and sepia browns. I'm going to go ahead and move, remove these positive masks now. Carefully pulling back on these ones. I don't want to remove that center mask, so just make sure everything's all right. And now we're going to pull this one off. You can see we've already got that. 3D look happening. Just as I said, I don't want to pull off the positive mask. What did I do? Pulled off the positive mask. Luckily, it's easy enough to line up. Go ahead and add some shading to the other parts of the wire. You could again mask off all this. You can see I've got a bit of overspray on there. That's fine, I'll come back in a second, fix all that up. And give that all a light dusting. And now a bit of freehand. Again, you can mask this if you're not comfortable. Drop 
sharer on here So you can see how because I ran that tape right through and followed that line there, this one looks like it appears in front of that one. But what you could do is alternate it. So you could literally, you know, have that in front, this one weaves in behind and then back in front again. So you could jumble it up a little bit more. It'd take a bit more time. I just wanted to keep this one nice and easy for you so that you can follow along even if you are a beginner. And now switching to white, I'm gonna add some highlights. I'll start with these sections here. I'm going to do like a dot white highlight. And just on one of these edges and brighter on the top. Nice and bright on the top. Got white highlights. And repeat. And now we're going to highlight the actual wire. I'm aiming for the top only. You can see I kind of aim for that edge of the template. If it's a bit uneven, that's fine. Okay, what I want to do now is go ahead and unmask it. So you can see I've got a little crappy area there. I'm going to go ahead and just fix that now before I remove the rest. So I just use a bit of this vinyl and hit that edge. just peeled off a little bit. That'll do. I think what's happened is when I repositioned my positive template, the paint underneath was still a little bit wet and I've just removed a little bit of that. So let's hope the rest of it is okay. Find out in a minute. So obviously dry times will vary depending on what type of paint you're using. You can also use a hairdryer or a heat gun to help dry your paint. So you're going to go ahead now and carefully pull along here. You can see that's much cleaner, much nicer edge. That's what I like about this vinyl is that it gives you that real clean look. Now just carefully removing those center sections. Do this one first because it's on the edge. So just to take it a step further, I'm going to do a bit of a drop shadow. Coming in with the transparent black. It's going to copy what you see above. See, I'm a fair distance away, nice and carefully shading it in. See, by just sharpening it up a little bit, it gives it a different appearance again. It's 
take a look at the barbed wire. It's that drop shadow it makes a huge difference. So to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.